Alright, well this is a video I've been meaning to shoot for a while. I'm sorry if there's noise, I got the window open, it's warm. Um, and, uh, as you can see, uh, Game Boy. This is my original Game Boy bag. Uh, today, the reason I'm making I was meaning to actually shoot this video because I just wanted to show this stuff. Um, but today is, uh, the Game Boy's, uh, 25th, uh, birthday. So, I thought, why not shoot it today? It's perfect. Happy 25th birthday, Game Boy! Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, we got my Game Boy Color. I don't actually have my original Game Boy anymore because I got rid of it once I got this because this plays original Game Boy games, so it didn't really make sense to have a bunch of Game Boys, but, like, when you get older, you regret that stuff, but what are you gonna do? Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, this, I fucking, this is a great game. Metal Gear Solid, uh, better known as Ghost Babel, uh, like across the pond or whatever. Um, this was actually my first Metal Gear game. I played this before Metal Gear Solid uh, on the PlayStation or Metal Gear Solid 2 or uh, Metal Gear on the NES. This was my first Metal Gear game, and I loved it. I beat all the VR missions, beat the crap out of this game. It's an awesome game. Okay, we got Spy vs. Spy for the Game Boy Color. You can tell the Game Boy Color games because uh, they ha they're clear. Alright, my original copy of Pokemon. Red. Still have it all these years later. Okay, Final Fantasy Legends 2 for the Game Boy. Look at this. Liberty Stories, get out of here. Alright. Tetris DX Game Boy Color. This is a Game Boy Color game, but like they, they also came in black cartridges. All right, so D DX. This is uh the uh, the color Tetris, which is awesome. Actually, that's pretty rare. This is uh, uh, not super rare, but it's it's rare. So here it is, baby. The first di mass-produced digital camera released in the United States. Game Boy Color yellow. I still have mine. I booted it up. The game works. The camera. Does not. I was really disappointed. I was sad, actually. So, it's like, how am I going to find a replacement yellow Game Boy camera? Uh, oh, Pokemon Pinball with Rumble. That's what this thing is. This cartridge actually rumbles and shakes. It's awesome. Okay. Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. Uh, also, a Game Boy Color game, as you can tell from the clear. Um, this was actually the first time I ever beat the original Mar Super Mario Brothers. I never beat it on the NES. I beat it on the Game Boy Color. It's a little bit weird because uh, the, the screen for the Game Boy is smaller than a television screen, so it does this weird scrolling thing. I, I, I don't know. I can't explain. It's hard to explain. All right. Um, Wario Land 3 for the Game Boy Color. This is a really fun game, too. This is the only Wario Land game I have, and it's really fun. All right, now we're going to get... Oh, wait, no. All right, Legend of Zelda DX Link's Awakening. See, black cartridge also, because um, the early Game Boy Color games were black cartridges. So um, Now we're getting, in, I believe, into Game Boy Advance games. And some of these are Japanese games, because I imported my Game Boy Advance. Um, so here's uh, Tony Hawk's uh, Pro Skater 2. It was cool. It had 2D backgrounds, but the sprite was 3D. So it looked really cool. I mean, it was impressive because this was before 3D handheld. So, All right. So some of these are Japanese games. Um, see, F-Zero is the Japanese version of F-Zero Maximum Velocity. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, Super Dodgeball, Japanese. I'm sorry for the focus. Okay. Uh, but you get the gist. Oh, this is my... F oh, Golden Sun. All right. Good RPG. Classic. If you have a Game Boy Advance, you should have this game. All right, what do we got? So Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Yeah. All right. Oh, here we go. Super Street Puzzle... Super Puzzle Fighter 2. Um, in your heart, Candy Crush. That's what I wanted to say. I want to say so much better than Candy Crush. Like, so much older... Uh, I'm actually going to do, do a review of Candy Crush and Farm Hero Saga. Um, I'm not going to give him a bad review. I just want to say some things about him. Not now, obviously. Uh, Mario Golf Advanced Tour. Awesome game. 
All right, classic. Uh, the original Legend of Zelda, the classic series. Uh, these cartridges are gray. Also, it's a little bit lighter than some of the other cartridges. I guess there's not as much stuff in there, or maybe they use cheaper plastic. But it definitely feels lighter. And these were only like 10 or 15 bucks when they came out. They were cheap. All right, the original uh, Game Boy Advance Castlevania, Circle of the Moon. I love this game. This might be my favorite Castlevania game, just because this was the first real big one that I got. I played the crap out of this game. Awesome game. All right, uh, Advance Wars. Great game, too. Very fun. All right, what do we got here? Mario Brothers 2, the Japanese version. Can't see it's a bunch of squiggly Japanese on there. All right, and Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. And finally, the Jewel, my favorite Game Boy Advance game, Kurukurukurin. It's a Japanese game. I think, I'm not sure if they ever released it in America, uh, but it was like a spinning stick, and you had to avoid it through this obstacle course without the stick hitting the walls. It was so much fun. Such a great game. And, like, when you boot it up, like, this Japanese chick goes, kada, kada, it's great. All right, I'm gone six minutes. Happy birthday, Game Boy. This, these are my Game Boy games and my Game Boy. I also have a Game Boy Advance SP, but it's still in my trunk. I didn't want to bust it out. All right, well, happy birthday, Game Boy.